Shaber 1000 here. Today we got a new fishing pole. It's pink. We're going to put some new line on it. No, it's not mine. Stay tuned. I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Okay guys, we have us, um, it's just a cheap Walmart Zebco. It is a Zebco 33, though it's not the 33 Classic, unfortunately. I love the 33 Classics. They're an awesome all-around reel. Um, the pole is just a Zebco pole. I mean, it is what it is for the rod, you know. Uh, they're 20 bucks at Walmart, you know, 19.99 or... <coughs> or whatever but it is the Zebco 33 uh, this is for monkey but I have uh, on my Zebco 33 classics um, I have brought in uh, the I brought in a 72 pound snap snapping turtle one time um, I brought in was it like a 27 pound carp I brought in a 52 pound catfish um, this is not a classic but I, I mean it is what it is it'll be alright for monkey because she doesn't she's been fishing before but she doesn't know how to fish um, so I'm gonna take her and show her how to fish just nobody her ex never taught her or anything um, so I'm gonna teach her how to fish she has never caught a fish in her life so this is going to be fun now I have one too and uh, I'm going to do mine as well now it does have string in it uh, 10 pound test but I want to show you uh, <coughs> what and why I'm going to put on it here in just a second so let's get to this okay guys as I said before this is just a it's a 33 um, it will hold 120 yards. It's a uh, 4.1 to 1 gear ratio, so it's, so it's pretty quick. Um, let me pull that out. And, I mean, that's, that's pretty fast. Okay, now I'll show you why I want to change the, um, the string on this. I don't know if you guys can see the string or not, but see how curly cued that is. After a while, those things get curly cued. Now it's supposed to have 10 pound test, you know, and it says that you can run um, you can run the uh, six to 14 pound. Now. What I'm going to run is I'm going to run this 40 pound test on it. Now this is a, it's braided. It's a braided uh, braided line. It's high visibiz visibility. I don't know if you guys can see the braids on that or not. But this is not, this, this is no thicker than what's on here. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to run this on here. Because I know Monkey's going to be getting in some snags. And there are some big fish around this area. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run that on here. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pull all this string out of here. Okay. I'm just going to keep doing this until I come to the end. And then we will tie this on to whatever little bit of existing string is left on there now this is supposed to be 150 yards so I don't know if I'm gonna have to do if I'm gonna have enough to do both to do both rods or not both reels we'll see um, no matter what right so I'm going to go ahead and get this pulled out of here and then I'll come back with you and I'll show you how to, I think that thing's pretty cool, I think I'm going to keep it. 
um, then I'll show you how to uh, tie it on here okay I'm back so I didn't take it clear out because I took it down to where when I start pulling it out I feel it wanting to jump and it's kind of catchy so and the reason why I did that is because if you go down any further than that you're gonna have trouble casting it so it's time to change your line anyway so I took it down to about that much okay now what we're gonna do I'm gonna put this back on there get it lined up here there we go now I'm gonna take this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put something through here okay and I'm gonna put it in the into the vise here I'm gonna put a bolt or something in here I'm gonna put it in the vise and it's just I'm gonna wind it up okay so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna tie that first though I'm just gonna take this I'm gonna take these two ends here I don't know if you can see that I'm just going to take them bring it over and through because if you get down this far guys think about it you're probably and you haven't got that fish in yet you're probably going to lose him anyway so I don't think you have to worry about it now just trim your edges off So if you don't you don't want it tangling in there and these scissors are junk apparently there we go now let's get this started up in here and when I'm rolling this I'm not just going to stand back and just I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on it you know just a little bit of drag all right there now that should be enough for now now let me get a bolt to put in there and we'll put it over here in the vise and we'll wind it up also i wanted to bring this to your attention inside of here it shows you different ways to tie your knots to tie your hook on I'm going to show you a way that I've been doing for years um, a lot of guys say yeah that's for beginners well I've been doing it since I was a beginner uh, angler and I'll tell you what I've it's always worked for me and I'll explain that to you when we get to that that part but that's pretty cool the cutout where you hang it is shaped like a fish like that guy okay let's get it wound up okay guys this is my setup like I said I'll put a little bit of drag on here but you can see where I'm going with this right see just like that now you can also have someone hold it for you or whatever maybe put a little drag on it like that but I'm just gonna wind it up like this I may have to loosen it up some. This is what I'm going to do. And I'll be back with you. And I'll show you how I'm going to tie my uh, knots. And this shouldn't take long because this thing is very fast. Um... What you can do is ever so often take your take your cover off. You can see how much you got in there. Don't, don't take it clear to the edge because then it slides over and it technically it backlashes. So I go until it's just down a little bit until I feel that it's that it's going to be casting good. And um, <clears throat> Jesus, come on. But that's what I do with mine, so. Really? Whoops, sorry guys. And I'll 
find out where them holes are. To, there we go. And it looks to me like it's left or right handed on here. So you can put this handle over here if you prefer. So let me get this wound up and then we'll move on to the next step. So right about there guys, that's about where you're going to want it at. I don't know if you can see that very good or not, but that's that's about where I put mine. And um, it seems to cast good there. Yeah, it just comes out nice and nice and neat. So, alright, now I'm going to cut this off and then I'll show you how I'm going to make my knots. Okay, so I know what some of you guys are thinking. Why don't you try to catch big fish? Well, I'm going to. That's what this rod here is for. This thing is freaking awesome. I don't know what pound test is on here. It was her dad's. It's very thick. But what I'll be running, I'll probably run a 150 pound test on this. This is a Triton G. It's a Shimano. Uh, what's the rod? It is... It's a Sigma graphic composite. It is... Um, five foot six and it'll it'll take up to uh, 50 to 130 pounds so I know I can put 150 on here just fine uh, with no issues um, I like the way these eye the eyes are this thing is wild so what I'll what I'll be doing is this one I mean I'll take it out with us tomorrow because I don't have the string to restring it right now but I'll take it out with us. I think, you know, it'll bring in something something pretty decent. Um, you know, once you get your drag adjusted right, I usually set it to where I can just pull just pull a little bit out with not a whole lot, but some pressure. You know. And then, if I need to, I can adjust it on the fly when I'm bringing a fish in. But... So yeah, that's uh, that's the big one there, boys. <laughs> awesome. So yeah. All right, now let's get on to finishing the rod up. Okay, guys, I hope you can see this well enough. Um, hopefully, this will stay focused for you. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to bring this back like this. Okay. So you're just going to make a little loop. This is so easy guys, just like that, bring my loop out, and I'm just going to tie this, like that, bring it up through, and tighten it. That is it guys, that's all you need to do, I'll show you something, because when you got a knot like that, that thing is never going to come untied. You don't have to sit there and wind it six or seven times. You don't have to do that. Then you just take your loop. Okay, you just take your loop. Let's say you're going to put a sinker on or whatever, a hook. It's the same thing. This works with any kind of string you're using. Bring it through like that. Okay, just like that. Now bring this over and bring your hook, sinker, uh, fly, lure, or whatever. Bring it through just like that. And now this is what you're this is what you're gonna end up with. That is strong. It will never come untied. And the good thing about this, if you got a lure on there, you want to change the lure, you just push that back out through like that. See? You just push that back out through and bring your oh, I was on the wrong side just backwards from what you did boom okay now I want to go with a number one hook okay whatever I want to go with a bigger sinker whatever stick it on there 
boom just like that now I'm gonna show you something else what I do I always put my sinkers on bottom now, I've had so much luck this way okay and I always come up you know depending on how deep your water is but I always come up let's say a foot okay I come up about a foot and I do the same thing here I'm gonna make me a loop ah, let's go a little bit more maybe 18 inches make me a loop then I'm just going to tie this just like this bring it up through and tie it and there you go okay so I always put my weights weights on bottom but uh, they say there's no right or wrong way well I agree there's no right or wrong way but what works for you well I'm, I'm putting her a number one hook on here because I want her to catch something decent size but I don't want her to grab onto a you know a big old gar just yet you know what I mean so I got her a number one here um, but this is the way I do it and it has always worked perfect for me I've got some stuff ordered for um, slip bobbers I had to get the uh, the stops they didn't have them at Walmart where we got the stuff so I had to order them online so I will be putting her slip bobber on but right now she has a uh, just a regular old bobber and that's that's what I do just like that guys that's it it's that simple like I said okay so let's say she wants to she wants to do a little pan fishing she needs a smaller hook okay just push that through and that's going to come down there just like that and out every time get your smaller hook which I do have number fours in there that's what these fishing poles here are for guys um, I'm not expecting to bring any stingrays in with them this is going to be for like bluegill crappie you know things like that um, maybe some smaller catfish you know eating size but smaller ones and then like I said you just you know you take it off put that back through Bring your hook through boom and you're done that will never come untied it won't slip on you and there you go that's exactly and this is what it looks like when it's done right looks just like that so that's that and she's ready to rock and roll okay so that's all there is to it man then you put your bobber on however you want to do your bobber I will be running her a slip bobber later on that way I can adjust it It'll be easier for her because like if you got to have if you want to go six feet deep and you're bobber fishing well remember if you got one of these bobbers on you're gonna have six feet you got to have to worry about casting a slip bobber you don't have to worry about it, it slips all the way down to the bait you just move your stop wherever you want it when you cast out and it drops down in it'll slip and stop right right where you want it to but she's got this she wanted this lighted thing uh, it's like an older style kind of junk but it's three dollars but she wanted it so I got it for her because if you put it in water it automatically kicks on I can do the same thing with my tongue so anyway so that's that but um yeah so that's uh that's pretty much how I do mine. Also, I put my other shop light from over there up here. And then I'll put the one in the center. This shop light up here in the center. Where you at? Right there. I'll put it over where this one was. This gives me a lot better lighting. I hope it looks better on camera when I'm doing stuff. So, yeah, monkey's messaging me. But that, that's what I use. And like I said, that, that string, I don't know how old it is. I don't know. It, is, is it Zebco? Is it, what is it? You know, now, usually I like spider wire. I like this kind of stuff only in spider wire. It's expensive, guys, but it's very good. This stuff, I've never tried this brand. So hopefully it'll be all right. I think it'll be fine for just these smaller poles for smaller fishing. Like I said, it's 40-pound test. It should cast fine. Um, so we're going to take her out fishing tomorrow for the, well for our first time fishing together and hopefully she'll catch her first fish now we're not going to I'm not going to take her out on the boat and try to teach her how to fish you know what I mean not on the boat because um, 
you know, I'm going to have to bait her hook for her and take her fish off and whatnot, which that's not a problem. But to teach her how to cast and stuff, you know, and I'm behind her, yeah, I don't want to be hooked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She hooked me a long time ago. She don't need to do it again. So anyway, but but we'll bring you along for that. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we may may go out to, uh, we may go to Crystal River. We may go somewhere around here. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But anyway, that's that's how I do it, guys. It's it's so simple and easy, and it will never come never come loose. I've I've used um, spinning bait with this before, and uh, spoons and jigs and uh, you know repellas, the the rattle traps. They all trail just as fine as tying those fancy knots. It's you know they're easy, but it just takes more time than this. Once you do it a couple times, it's like you're done and uh it, everything tracked fine i've just never had a problem with it i know a lot of people have seen me do that they're like oh that's amateur don't you think and i'm like yeah well we'll see and they're over there fiddling around and every time though when you use one of the other knots every time you want to change your your lure or something you have to cut it you got to cut your line and retie it this you do not have to when they seen me doing that, they was like, oh, how did you do that? And I'm like, oh, I'm an amateur. You wouldn't be interested, you know. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to get off of here. And I got to start supper soon. I'm going to going to be uh, making a roast tonight. So, I've done a little bit of work on the boat today. I also got, we also have our LEDs in, our navigation lights, our nav lights, our red and green ones. So, we've got those, we got those in. I got a couple lights coming. Uh, it should be in tomorrow or the next day. Um, ordered four of the five inch on off road style lights. I'm going to put two up front for headlights. Uh, ordered ten more of these in blue. So we'll be putting inside, inside the boat. So it like illuminates inside the boat after dark. It'll be blue. Should look nice. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for some fishing videos tomorrow. Not on the boat yet. But next time we take the boat out, I'll at least do some fishing. She she doesn't. She's really not into fishing from the boat. She just likes cruising. So anyway, but tomorrow we will have a fishing video up. It's just not going to be on the boat yet. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And... Um, I guess that's it. <laughs> Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend. I'm gone for now. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon so you can get notified of more videos. And uh, we'll chat with you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of your week. Stay safe and bye-bye, guys. Take care.